Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 501, Wrong Gender, Male, and 505, Wrong Gender, Female. Suggestion 501 is caused when a profile is marked as female, but the first name strongly suggests a male, such as Richard. Suggestion 505 is the reverse, for a profile marked male with a female first name such as Elizabeth. Options are to provide documentation and correct the gender, or, if the name is correct, to mark the suggestion as false. These are considered to be the wrong gender based on statistics. For example, here is the suggestion report for Aaron Vick, showing several suggestions, including 501. The gender column is marked female. In the name column, click on the first name. The next screen gives a name analysis for every Aaron on Wikitree. As you can see, they are male a very high percentage of the time. Here is the suggestion report for Aaron Waterbury. It lists two suggestions, but for this video, we are only interested in 501 wrong gender, should be male. Here is the public view of Aaron's profile. As you can see, it has a female profile in the top left, and the data section says that she is the daughter of unknown parents. Here is the biography section, only listing two sources, death and find a grave, with a headstone photo. The death index doesn't indicate gender. While it's almost certain Aaron is a male, we still need to find a source. On the bottom right of his profile, click on the Root Search link. The next screen, Root Search, offers several sites to search with. Since Family Search is free, let's start there. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. Family Search lists several census records for Aaron Waterbury. Let's look at the 1850 census. On the far right, click on the icon. The next screen shows the census record, which lists him as an 11-year-old male. Return to his profile and click on Edit. At the bottom of the Edit box, click Turn on Enhanced Editor. In the Biography section, Add the 1850 residence. Place the cursor behind that and click the citation button above. Return to the Family Search Census record. On the bottom right, click on Document Information. Copy the citation that appears. Return to his profile and paste the citation between the ref tags. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the biography and sources sections. Go to the data section at the top and add his birthplace of New York as stated in the 1850 census. Move down to the gender field and click on the green tab. At the box that opens, click on Mail. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the suggestions report and on the far right click on status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing, even though there are several related suggestions listed. They have already been addressed or are being ignored for this video. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the commentants or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. 
Please note, the process for 505 is similar to the shown example, except the gender is changed from female to male. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.